All right, so welcome to How To Dino, and today we are going to go over some updates to Dinobot. There is one particular feature that I'm excited about, and this is for the custom commands module. You are finally allowed to add your own embeds with custom commands, so it's actually built into the module. So no more having to use the announce command where you cannot choose your preferred color or add things like extra fields or uh, subject titles. Now you can do that all natively within the actual custom commands module. But before we get into that, I just like to go through all the new features. So if you are in the Dino support server, we have this tab that's called dev updates. And if you join the updates rule, you'll be notified whenever the devs add changes to the bot. And before I begin, I'd also like to give a quick shout out to Veen. He's now officially a Dino dev, recently added to the developer's role. So congrats to Veen. And this is also his first uh, changelog announcement. So and that's pretty cool. All right, so what's new? So added custom emojis for secret starboards. Three new variables for welcome, autoresponder, and announcements modules. We also have this new custom commands list view. Uh, we've kind of already seen it. It's been added to the dashboard, but now they're actually officially announcing it. It's that new view that we've noticed for a few weeks back. They added the ability to view custom command settings without editing them. So now there's a dedicated view button that you can click on to see what the actual command is and then see what settings are enabled. Uh, this is the feature I was talking about, custom command embed response. Next up, you can finally rename custom command. So for those of you that have been trying to rename a custom command, the process before was to copy the command response and then delete that command and then add a new command with the new name. So now you can just go ahead and hit a button and rename the command. You can also toggle custom commands on or off within the dashboard. And apparently they've added complete support for stage and news channels. So if you were having issues with uh, stage or news channels, hopefully that has been fixed. And now you can actually save draft messaging better responses instead of just saving it and then having Dino send it to a channel, you can just save it as a draft. And now autoresponder supports embedded response. So before you can only send plain text responses, but now you can also send embedded responses. And then they've added draggable fields for the embed builder on the dashboard. Next up, we have the pagination of mod logs of the mod logs command. So before mod logs would just send a huge long embed. Now it looks like they've actually divided it up into pages that you can go ahead and sort through. It seems like they've added more error messages for reaction rules. So if something goes wrong and you, you know, mess up somewhere before, I guess it wasn't actually letting users know what happened. Uh, but now it looks like they've taken some current consideration and went ahead and added some more error messages to actually let you know what went wrong. And then rank now replies to users. So those are, these are the changes. These are the improvements. Uh, these are the new things up here. And then apparently they fix. So whenever you permanently mute someone, the only way to unmute them is to go back and manually unmute them. If you had Dino remove rules when muted, Dino would simply just not give the user the rules back because you went ahead and manually uh, muted them and then you had to manually unmute them. So Dino would just like basically forget that they were muted and um, not give them back the rules. So now it seems like they fixed that. So for those of you having issues with that, you should be able to turn this option back on. Other than that, those are the new things within Dino. Next up, I'm just going to go through the dashboard and just show you where you can find these new things. If you'd like me to dive deeper into, you know, the new stuff, then uh, let me know in the comments. But for now, I'm just going to just give you a general overview of where you can find these new things. So let's get into it. Okay, so here we are on the dashboard. I'll try to keep everything in order. But first up, let's head over to the actual dashboard and um, let's actually manage our server here. Okay, so first thing that was added, so they added the custom emojis for the secret starboards. So that would be in the starboard module. So we click on modules, find starboard. And then if you click on secret starboards, which is actually a premium feature, you can come down and you'll see that you can now add custom emojis. 
All right, so now we have new variables for announcements. So if we come down here, we see that we see that you can actually use avatar, uh, username, so user, username, and the last one was discriminator, which I don't see on this list. So that was for announcements. Next up, so yep, avatar, username, user, uh, discriminator, I don't see here again, but you should be able to still enter that into the description or wherever you have to insert your custom text. And then I think they also said autoresponder. If we add a response, so yep, user, avatar, username. So next up, we have the new custom command list view. So this, we kind of, we've already had a sneak peek of this in uh, previous episodes. This change log was just released, so they had already made some of the changes. In the change log, they said you can toggle your custom commands, which is with this toggle button right here. You can view your custom commands and then also see the settings as well that was added. And then if you click on edit, you can actually go ahead and rename your custom command just by clicking on that rename button. And then once you're done, you hit save. And then in previous videos, we noticed that they added this little description field over here. All right, so the other cool thing that I noticed, so if we go ahead and edit, if you come down right under this command section, you can actually add your embed here. And then the uh, field dragon is this right here. So you're now able to adjust this field and all the um, other big fields like the uh, uh, extra fields area you can actually adjust those there so now you can add your own custom embeds here and actually choose your color instead of just using the default color with announcements that's how you would add your custom embed next up we can save drafts in our message embedder so if we come over here as you can see we'll go ahead and create a new one save that's the new option added to message embedder we also have the embedded response for autoresponder. So if we go ahead and add a response, you have message response, embed response, and also the reaction response. So a new option is this embed response where you can actually create your own embed. And we're coming really close to 2000 subscribers. So in advance, I want to say thank you and um, enjoy the rest of your day. Thanks for watching. Remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe.